back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can export a union and make it into a mesh part. So basically people do this most of the time because that unions are very hard to load in for some like devices. So um, you want to use this if your game is on like mobile. And usually just in general you should get this into a habit of doing this. So let's make a union real quick. I'm just going to make a little hole in the wall. Get a cylinder. Resize it accordingly. Okay. And union. So now this is a hole in the wall. This is called a union part. It is when you use a negative part to make a hole in something. Or just resize something, you know. So basically, you can right click on it in Workspace. I mean, in Explorer. Or wherever your part is. Go into Export Selection. And then go into wherever you want it. So I am going to put this into my passport, aka my like hard, portable hard drive. And I'm going to name this test. So basically, that's now a file. I can insert a mesh part. And then in properties, for mesh ID, you can press this little folder thing. And then you're going to want to find your object. And there you go. This is a mesh part. And also, you're going to want to use collision fidelity. You're never going to want to use box or default unless you don't want a player going through the hole. If you want them going through the hole, use price, convex, the composition, or a hole. Usually, I use preci precise, but they work pretty well. So this will be able to load faster than this on most devices. So there you go, guys. That's the video. See you guys. Thank you guys for watching.